let's talk about why your path is confusing right now, why you may feel like you are not doing something right, like you are behind, maybe you're comparing yourself to other people, here is your message, okay? We're gonna dive into the reason behind it and how you can reestablish your faith in the process, in the universe, and trust in the path, all right? So if you don't know me already, my name is Grace Moralia. I specialize in trauma-informed coaching, inner child healing, teaching people how to love themselves and connect to their true soul essence, all right? That is what I'm passionate about. I have worked with over 800 one-on-one -on -one clients and in group settings, and so that's what I do. If you are interested in my services, go ahead and check my the link below or my Instagram, and be sure to like and subscribe to my channel so I can keep growing. All right, so if you feel disconnected to yourself right now, I want you to pause and understand something. Your path is written for you. The universe has your back, your soul knows what it's doing, and all will come in divine timing, all right? When you listen to yourself, when you listen to your intuition, you are on path whether you realize it or not. Okay, when life becomes confusing, it is because your soul is guiding you into new territory that doesn't look like the things you've been in in the past. And your mind wants to compartmentalize, it wants to come to conclusions, it wants to understand, why is this happening to me? Um, am I wrong? Am I doing something bad? Whatever it is for you, I need you to understand that no, you are not doing something wrong and you are not doing anything bad as long as you are listening to yourself. You know when you are out of alignment and you are you know when you are in alignment, all right? And so that's the first thing. Bestie, girlfriend, boyfriend, listen. Homie, if you are not listening to yourself, we do have a problem, okay? Because only you can follow your intuition and only you know it's right for you. Now, a lot of my clients come to me with trust issues within themselves, feeling disconnected to themselves and their path, but it's really just a matter of coming back to yourself and listening to yourself and creating the space to do that, right? It's not that hard. 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the evening can change your life of silence, of movement, of stretching, of doing self-loving exercises, right? Prioritizing yourself. But if you are just confused, I need you to stop comparing yourself to other people because your path, which is hard to do, okay, I do it too. Your path isn't gonna look like theirs. Your path is gonna look like yours, all right? Now, when your soul is expanding you, you're gonna feel that. And there are seasons for confusion. There are seasons for growth of, you know, outward manifestation. And there are seasons of hermit mode, of inner manifestation, of inner alignment. And so the best thing that you can do if you feel confused about your external world is lean into trust and surrender into your path. And how do you do that? What you need to do is pray about it, is talk to your soul, is state your intentions, right? As long as you state, I am in alignment with myself, I am in alignment with my goals, that means that you are manifesting that timeline. It's not harder than that. When people say, how do you connect to your higher self? I'll tell you, set the intention to connect to your higher self. Set the intention to live from your aligned space and that's what will happen, all right? So, like I said, when you are going into a new territory, into a new phase of your life, it's going to look different than the old one. Old versions of you have to die. Old stories, beliefs have to die and that is hard for the ego, for the smaller self, for the inner child, for the traumatized parts of you that want to latch on to control and say, oh, I should be doing this, I could be doing this, judging yourself, being hard on yourself, saying, why am I not farther? Well, guess what? That's all an illusion. If you show up to your path every day and you decide, I am gonna be who I am, that is it. That's all you need to do, all right? but you have to be true to you. You have to be true to you. So if you are prioritizing someone's voice over yours or comparing your path to somebody else's, understand that their karma is different. Their soul contracts are different. Their soul wants to learn certain things. I know that that's different terminology that you may or may not resonate with, but your soul is here to learn certain things. So 
when you surrender into the confusion, when you surrender into the known, unknown, make affirmations to yourself, right? I am on path. I am learning. I am growing. I am aligned. I am becoming who I meant to become. All right. That's really it. And then you will. But when you get stuck in the judgment and when you're hard on yourself and all of that shit, it's not getting you farther. What's going to get you farther is continuing to show up for the work, is to continue to show up for yourself, for your inner child, for your healing work, for who you're becoming. All right. That's your medicine. So I really want you to tune in how, and ask yourself today, how can I align more to the truth of me and also surrender into the unknown that I am being taken care of, all right? Look to the past. You've always been taken care of before, so what makes you think you won't be taken care of? It's a fear voice that's embedded in your lineage, that's embedded in the collective, that's embedded in your past lives, your soul's experience, okay? And that's a programming because the truth of you is love. All right, I resonate with the word God. You can resonate with universe, creator, whatever you want. I'm not religious girly. I am just God and I'm spiritual, okay? I am, I'm in tune with God and I am spiritual. That's what I mean, okay? So I, what I do is I surrender my life to God. I surrender my path to God and I ask God to show me what to do. What does God want me to do? What does my soul want me to do? And that unfolding is going to take time. Where you're going takes time. The sooner that you can surrender into that and trust in your path, the better it will be for you because that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to look like this. You're supposed to go through those tough emotions. You're supposed to feel stuck. You're supposed to because it's moving through energetic blocks that have to be experienced in order for you to reach this next level. It is all, 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 all purposed, all right? It wouldn't exist if it wasn't purposed. So instead of judging your path, fall into surrender, fall into what is this teaching me? What is this showing me? How can I develop more trust in the process? What does that look like for me? What does nurturing look like for me? Because all you have is your body. All you have is the soul connection. That's the only thing that can stay. Everything else shifts, all right? So being present with what is and nurturing that aspect, that eternal aspect that lives in your intuition, that lives in your belly, that lives in your heart, Show up for your path, what is present here, and ask yourself, what can I do today to get me closer, and then surrender the rest. Trust that God will teach you what God wants to teach you. Trust that the universe is showing you every day, and as long as you are listening, you are on path. So get out of your mind. You're not supposed to know the answers, and you're not supposed to be the one in control because that's an illusion. It never works out the way that your mind thinks it will. When was the last time it did? It never does because that's not your responsibility. Your responsibility to sh is to show up, be true to yourself and live your purpose. And your purpose is now, it is in the breath. It is in the confusion, it is in the dark. That is what formulates you into the diamond that you are meant to be, all right? If you need to do deeper healing work and you resonate with my energy, check out my website below. I help people heal traumas, limiting beliefs, blocks that prevent them from being in alignment with their highest self and purpose. I'm very passionate about it. I'm very good at it. I would love to help you. Check out my Instagram if you wanna see more about what I am about. And I'm a TikTok girl. I love TikTok, so I'll link my TikTok below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know if this was helpful for you. I'll be back soon. All right, love you.